Bruh. Oh god, no, not the green screen. Good evening, I come from the future. And in the future, you get no bitches. We all know TikTok is that place that everyone goes to. Well, the new thing ever since it turned into TikTok. Before it was just Vine. But uh, we all remember one of the trends. We There have been tons of trends on TikTok. The devious licks. The pink sauce. Mural acts. The milk crate challenge would probably gave people a bunch of comas. But one trend that was fascinated was the time travelers. The time travelers one. Where you would basically just grab a future... You, you would just grab some future stock footage of Pacific Rim and say that you were from probably 3,000 years in the future and how something about McDonald's changes, pretty much. We decided to react to a video that Sunny made talking about this very topic. And it surprisingly goes deeper than you actually think when it's just a bunch of... You think it's just a bunch of accounts just making the TikTok trend. But no, it actually goes a little bit deeper, so... Enjoy this stream, hi this stream compilation. All right, here we go. I want to watch uh, Sunny V2. He made a new video, Stupidest Time Travelers on TikTok. I remember the Time Travelers thing that uh, on TikTok a little bit. I remember that Optimus did cover that shit once, and I met a woman. It is kind of like the. It's something similar to, to something you would see, like, I don't know, something shit about explaining the Loch Ness Monster or. Out other conspiracy shit, so I wanna I wanna check this out since it's since this seems worthy of the great Sunny V2 to talk about. If you're wanting to prove that time travel is possible, then look no further than TikTok. The app features thousands of morons who claim to be from the future, and of these we will show you the absolute stupidest. Now it's hard to tell exactly where the genre or trend began, but some of these so-called time travelers actually have pretty okay. impressive follower counts. One of the smaller ones with a touch over 80,000 goes by the name of Eno Ulrich, or Radiant Time Traveler, and they claim to be from the year 2671, whilst warning that mankind is on the brink of destruction. Now the instant problem with this description is that if mankind is going to end in the next couple of years then how did you even make it to 2671 without being wiped out beforehand? Yeah I was about to say where's the logic and plus even if his excuse was like mankind's gonna be erased in like 260 something who the fuck cares I mean I'm, I'm gonna die so yeah, that's gonna be the next generation's problem leave it leave it to gen what do we call it we're on gen z now leave it to gen uh uh, Jen Epstein. They'll, they'll figure it out. A group of four teenagers uh, will soon discover ancient ruins and a device that opens a wormhole to other galaxies. Isn't that the plot to like fucking Echo or something? However, Eno Alaric's most profound and life-changing prediction is that there will be Fortnite events in the next couple of years. Judging from the- Yes! Finally, we're gonna see Dwayne The Rock Johnson reveal his car. Traveler, but for the most part, the account is pretty heavily clowned on. Do we ever find out who Joe Mama is? Can you predict when my dad will come back? <laughs> That's enough Marvel for you. Jesus Christ. Okay, the fact you have the fucking Discord, that symbol, the guy who loves the can- Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what, you deserve, you deserve that fucking, that fucking profile picture. <laughs> Fucking slug up. Do we ever find out who Joe Mama is? Instead of simply going back and winning the lottery, Radiant Time Traveler has opted to gain status by promising his fans a highly requested face reveal at 1 million followers. Ah. However, this achievement has already been completed by that one time traveler who's gained 1.4 million followers and 14.6 million likes, having gone out of their way to state, yes, I'm a real time traveler. And while having to specify that you're a real time traveler pretty much- I Who the fuck? What do you want? Uh, what was I gonna say? Um, I, I saw the whole remember the date 911 and I, I, I kind of drew red flags. I thought it was gonna be fucking, you know, uh, the September, the, 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 the T word, okay? That will be released. In 2022, a human will return to Earth who has been traveling in the space pod for over 9,000 years. It's the Saiyans, guys! It's the Saiyans from Dragon Ball. 
Traveler. The account actually They're has a pretty decent story behind it. Their first video was posted back in August 2020 and oh, it read, God. I got TikTok to prove I'm a real time traveler. If this blows up, I'll start revealing what happens in every single year. Now the video was instantly called out in the comments, one of which stating, if you were really a time traveler, you would already know if the video would blow up. You wouldn't say if this video blows up. However, because the video was posted to TikTok, of course it blew up and that one time traveler continued to post. Their next video read, a lot of people don't believe I am a time traveler, so I'm going to prove I am. Remember the date 24th of September 2020. Something big happens on this day. Blow this up and I'll expose what happens on this day. I promise to you I am a real time traveler. I have so much things to share with you all. Now what ended up happening on the date he highlighted the 24th of September 2020 is something that we'll discuss a little bit later. However, this claim was so- Nah, oh, okay. Bet you something like your mama revealed or something. All right, let's keep going. Somewhat insignificant as the TikToker's new videos began to get outrageous. There was a video explaining that his company had created a time machine in the year 2485, although the footage on screen was not from the future, but rather from the movie Pacific Rim. What a different claim was that the Earth will end or be destroyed on July 6, 2788 from a gigantic meteoroid, although once again, this claim was short-sighted as noticed by this comment. Bruh. Dude, you said you're from the year 2485, right? How come you know what happens in 2000? 788. Ah, oh. uh, he got caught lacking. He got caught lacking. Look, if anything is true, the earth will probably be destroyed by the whole sun blowing up or something. No, not the sun blowing up. The sun getting bigger and absorbing us because the sun is actually pyrocynical and he's, he's going to consume all of us. <laughs> virus. If you're from 2485, why would you even care about COVID? Why wouldn't you go back to the 1300s and cure the Black Death Plague, which killed up to 50% of Europe's population at the time? Okay, to be fair, do we need the Europeans? Do we need more Europeans? Okay, I'm gonna stop before red flags get drawn out. I don't want people nuking me. I'm gonna stop. But it's not like these commenters are the only ones to have noticed how stupid these time traveling pages are. Another TikToker going by the name of Jim Official has dedicated a large oh, portion Jim of his Fischl. account to the dunking guy? on these idiotic TikTok time travelers by making his own hilarious fake time travel videos. What I'm about to show you is going to blow your freaking mind. 880% proof I'm a time traveler. Okay, let's see what he's going to say. Fucking face. Oh god, he's just staring into my soul. Nice beard though. This is absolute proof that I am a time traveler. I have with me an item from Taco Bell. No! That does not exist anywhere else but oh, in god. 2027. McDonald's sold its sold its oh. quarter pounder oh, to Taco Bell in 2027, guys. His video started by stating <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, of course, the fucking quarter pounder from McDonald's. That's gonna get America. I mean, to be fair, you're probably gonna make everyone in America believe that, but I don't know about the European. I don't know about Europe and Japan. Maybe they won't believe you, but I mean, you'll probably you probably have all of America on their side. If you said that, uh, fucking in 2027, Burger King is gone, then I'll probably believe you, and probably everyone in my Discord server, probably everyone in the Discord server that I'm in, will probably believe it. <laughs> but yeah proof that he was a oh, time traveler God. because he owned an old video game console. I'm going to show you my what? proof right now. I'm going to show you what? a device that's from a different time period no. altogether. I have a Super Nintendo from 1995. I'm a time traveler from the past. Dead serious. Look at this. Yet after All right. You know what? Screw it. Oh, hang on. <laughs> guys, guys. I'm a time traveler from the past, all right? I have the PS2. You can tell this is from the past, and I didn't just bring this up and wipe off all the dust off it. Okay. All right, that was a terrible bit, but I'm just excuse to bring out the PS2. I still love this thing. I do want to actually play this on stream, but I'm, like, too lazy to set up all the fucking uh, things that you need to set. Oh, my God, my camera's fucked up, isn't it? Oh, God, no, bring it down, bring it down.
After this first video went viral, this percentage of proof slowly increased, appearing as 110% oh in God. the next video. My last video went kind of viral about me claiming I'm a time traveler, and I had the proof 100% that I was a time traveler. Apparently that's just not enough. This right here is a video camcorder used back in 1999 by families that lived in that time period. How could I possibly get this, guys? Come on. Oh it must have been used <laughs> By the time Jim Official got to 800% proof that he was a time traveler, his parody videos were actually becoming so- can you go to 860? I, I can't tell if that hat's real or fake or not. <laughs> I think it, I think it's real. I don't know, because it looks like he just like plastered that in with Photoshop and shit. I don't know, maybe he's bald underneath it. Somewhat convincing. Guys, I am here in 1865 in a town called Phoenix, Arizona, before it became a big, thriving city. How can you deny this proof? I am literally here. What? Wait, wait, wait. What was that? What was before that? it became a big thriving city. How could What's that? Oh, I thought that was like some kind of gift shop or something. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Can you deny this proof? I am literally here in Western Times, 1865. Guys, come on now. How much more proof? With the other respectable thing being that Jim Official actually adds his personality into the content, as opposed to these other accounts who simply use text-to-speech with stock footage or short clips from futuristic movies. Hel what's, what's, what's Jimmy been up to? What's his name? Jimmy Official. Ah. Yeah, I think the guy has just become like, I think he's become like the whole drop the act now. Oh no, he's always dropped the act. No shit. Huh. Nice. I'm gonna show you something that's gonna blow your freaking mind completely, Please. and it's what totally is, different to any type of evidence future? I've ever shown before in the past. I'm currently in 2010, and 2010. this shows that I'm here before CERN manipulated reality and created a bunch of Mandela effects. What the fuck? Who the fuck is CERN? <laughs> You're like my wife, always bringing up the past. Okay. Let me show you something. I'm in 2010. This is going to blow your mind. It's nothing like I've ever shown before. I'm at Home Depot before CERN changed it to The Home Depot. Wait, Home Depot was called The... Wait, what? Okay, cool. Little, little known fact. Nice job, uh, Jimmy. You made me learn something new. All right, where the fuck were we at? No, I don't... Oh, God <laughs> Is that me? Oh god, is Danalyzer infected? Fucking hell. Okay, where are we? Right here. Oh, shit. That's the bizarre case of Tequila Mockingbird. My name's Tequila Mockingbird, and I... What the fu- uh, <laughs> Let's just keep watching. I'm a time traveler. You might remember Tequila from Anthony Padilla's video, I Spent a Day with Time Travelers. And while she is the head of the Time Travelers Association. My God, that, that face. Oh God. Uh, you know what? We're not going to judge faces, but you get, you can't, you got to admit. Jesus Christ. Association. There isn't much to indicate that she has any credibility. Have you ever time traveled? Yes, I have time traveled. How do you time travel? I use inner space, but I'm looking to use outer space. I'm sorry, what the fuck? <laughs> inner, what the fuck is inner space? Okay, what the fuck? Inner, inner space. Let's just, I'm not about to research every minute. Okay, I'm gonna stop pausing. Let's just, let's just watch them. Let, let's let her explain it to me. Because I, I have a small brain. Show me, show me inner space. To penetrate inner space in the future. Being a time traveler, has there been anything you saw coming before it actually happened? Yes, my mother. I picked her out. I, I saw her from a cloud and said, I want her to be my mother. In fact, her TikTok such as... Also, what the fuck? This one titled Traveling Through Time 18th Century with Tequila literally just shows her face placed over the top of various old paintings with a reface app watermark in the top left hand corner. But with the amount of views that some of these videos get, it's no wonder people set themselves up as fake time travelers. For example, the very first video on this TikTok account gained 1.7 million views by oh, making the most basic. Shit! What the fuck? Wait, hang on. Can I explain this? United States tidal wave, Jesus Christ. Monkey pick swipe, wait, monkey pick wipes out half of it. Who the fuck? 
Good. Maybe I should start predicting time traveling. All right, guys. In 2006, the PS6 will look like a, bo a giant box. A different TikToker gained a whopping 25 million views by taking the image of a time traveler from Google, stating that he was from the year 2099, then revealing that alien creatures known as the Xenu will visit Earth in 2029, which will then result in World War III between us and the aliens. Yes, 25 million views for that. This video, which simply warns of a leaked document from a time traveler, has gained over 9 million views, whilst this other video gained 21 million views by making three predictions about what was going to happen in Earth early 2022. But the unique thing about the time traveler who had posted this video was that, after providing hundreds of warnings about our future, they seemed to get tired of the doomsaying and instead resorted to posting videos of them riding their motorbike. Any comment which brings up their time traveling past is responded to with confusion, as if the TikToker has no idea what they're talking about. And while this is evidence that the account with over 1 million followers was lying the whole time, there is one final method to absolutely prove whether or not these accounts are telling the truth or not not. As something big happens on this day, yet as you might guess, nothing of significance happened unless you're counting the Bruh. vegan teacher's birth. Oh my god. <laughs> nah, you guys are all wrong. He was right. The vegan teacher's birthday it was true. She's turning 58. She fell off. Birthday. The page also made the prediction that on the 5th of May 2022, a super tsunami would hit the west coast of the USA. However, the TikTok account's greatest inaccurate prediction was that on the 25th of May 2022, Nirons, or what you all call aliens, will start making their appearance on Earth, and that as a result, we'll build the first ever large mechanical war machine, resulting in the start of a new type of warfare. You could probably Actually argue that this prediction is in close competition with the statement that we'd find Atlantis on the 2nd of February 2022. However, both of these predictions work in unison to prove that these TikTok time travelers are completely and utterly bogus. Yeah. All right. So the lesson we can learn here is that if you want to get more views, uh, you start lying on the internet. <laughs>